Shooting. Didn't you hear? We're about to find ourselves in the middle of a race war. I've seen you shoot. I think I'll be I. <laughs> hey, with this fucking rifle, I'm Wild Bill Hickok. So, how's the Padre handling all this? You know, the bloody path of mayhem and revenge you've embarked upon? Still not happy about it. Thinks you're most likely the devil. <laughs> you know, I had a look at his service record. Oh, settle down. I was just curious. He was a medic, but he saw action at Klimbaugh with a 614th. He was credited with taking out two crowd tanks on top of the 16 men he shot. A lot of killing for a would-be priest. That was different. It was during a war. And this isn't? Look, I'm just saying, we didn't win that war by worrying about hurting someone's feelings. We won it by bombing the crowds and nips back to the Stone Age. Padre'd be wise to remember that. Yeah, maybe. I'll catch you later. You're not still sore about me looking into the Padre, are you? Don't tell me you works just this side of a lunatic, but he's a lunatic who wants Sal dead. Find him. I can't believe what I'm reading, what I'm hearing on the radio. What you doing? You knew how it was gonna go down. I sat right there and told you. Maybe I'm just realizing there's a difference between hearing about something in the abstract and seeing it splash across the front page in a newspaper. You didn't think I'd go through with it? I... I don't... No, I knew. I knew as soon as you regained consciousness, I could see it. I look at you, I see who you were. A little boy who didn't have much, but who also wasn't angry about it. A little boy who shared, who laughed, who, who just enjoyed being. I wonder what happened to him. He finally realized how things work. <laughs> Is that so? 
How many times was the orphanage vandalized by rednecks? How many times do we have to drive around asking restaurants for their leftovers because we didn't have nothing else to eat? Did we have to deal with racist assholes? Sure. But whenever they did, some folks come around and help us. White, black, Baptist, Lutheran, you name it. You know how all you boys got new jackets on Christmas? Those came from an old white woman, a Calvinist. She spent the entire year making them. If all you ever look for is evil, it's all you ever gonna see. I gotta go. I, I never wanted this for you, Lincoln. I wanted you to have a good life. Lincoln Clay. Jesus Christ on the cross. Now I've seen everything. I heard you were dead. Been hearing that a lot. What the fuck do you want? Came here to make you a business proposition. Is that so? I'm going after Marcano, his brothers, anyone else that's associated with him. You know what may help? The way I see it, once we deal with Barbieri, you get Point Vidan back. After that, we can discuss what happens to the rest of the city. <laughs> no, fuck off. All the chalky bastards once already. Look where I got me. From where I'm standing, I'm not seeing much of a difference between then and now. You less than that, you less than God, you fuck. <laughs> Danny was so buttoned up, the coroner wouldn't let me get a last look. Anyone's killing that fucking Marcano. That's me. Unless Marcano's hanging around one of these dive bars, I don't think he has too much to worry about. Yeah, go fuck yourself. There's no more stones in the likes of you, they're a fucking off. A fucking ingrate. Coming to your question, me. You and your kind, you are caught down wrong at the first sign of trouble. You always have, and you always will. This ain't your lucky day, motherfucker. What the Christ you think you're doing? You were bragging about your stones, so I figured we'd take a little ride. See who cracks first, the Chalky or the Mick. Holy mother, Harang Jarak! Can you find the gas pedal? You're a fucking half-witch scanner.
give it a rest before you get the peelers all horn up for us. Pull over here. Now, get the fuck out of my ride. Give me time to sober up, then come see me. I think we can work something out. Please, please, don't procreate. Back so soon, then? Tell me about Barbieri. Barbieri? Well, he's a right fucking cunt. I can tell you that much. You know what I'm asking, Burke. Give me something I can use. Barbieri's running Splow out of the Sweetwater Distillery. Splow? Panther's piss. White mule. Alley gin. Pot chain, moonshine, you ignorant fuck. Christ, what kind of booze you people drink over there in Darkyville? Kind of's not called painter's piss. <laughs> Boy, you ain't lived. Set the whole thing up myself. Then that gunny fuck comes in and takes it from me. Smashes me knee all to hell. Barbara Harry's gonna suffer. You hear? Days. Slow. What else has he got besides the distillery? I runs that old Robert O. Slaughterhouse. He's doing more in there than cutting a lean ribeye. Drags in there. That's the end of you. I'll do the heavy lifting on this, Burke. Uh -huh. but once Barbieri's dead, I'm counting on you to step up. Oh, I'll do more than step up. I'd either be running this whole damn town or burning it to the ground. But honest, It'll make a whole lot of difference to me either way. <laughs> a nation hot once again. A nation once again. And Ireland long, a province be a nation once again.
Need some wheels. And Burke says you're the only person worth talking to about it. Well, Burke's a fucking genius in that regard. I'll head on out to you now. Is that a Hot Wheels, just like you ordered? That's a big help. I'm in point for done, and I need a new set of wheels. On a lot. Just getting her warmed up. Here's your car, boss. Appreciate it. Send someone to Point Verdun to pick up my cash. Sure thing, Cher. Heading your way now. Need to make a Better deposit, Sugar? Okay, I'm good to go. I need resupply in Point Verdun. I'll head your way now. Everything you see is for sale. Let me see what you got. Done deal. I'm out of here. 